Bertrand, thank you. You're welcoming us on the third day of Frame. So Frame is like the new fair in Basel, right? Is, yes, it's a new baby. It, uh, it's three days uh, old, uh, but the concept of Frame uh, started to uh, exist uh, three, four years ago. After the first fair I did, uh, I was totally unhappy, but uh, it took me uh, three years to have the courage to create uh, Your this own fair. Ones. With, uh, with good friends and uh, people who wanted to make it happen. So what's, so, what's so specific about Frame? Well, how is it different than the other fairs? Frame is a copy of uh, what was the salon in the 19th century or the factories in the 60s, but also the dream of every dealer. It means Frame is a tool for dealers, art dealers, artists to be successful. It's not made to enrich uh, a fair organizer, because we are not looking for profit, we want to be break even and to have enough cash to uh, start again every year because it's still a business. But we want to be able to use it, 55 Belchas, but uh, all the other exhibitors as a way to be successful, yeah. to have our artists emerge and to have people have a new test, you know, uh, in art. Et j'ai rencontré euh, Monsieur Scholler, euh, Bertrand Scholler, à Paris, et il m'a proposé de venir à Frame à Basel euh, pour exposer avec euh, avec Flame. Donc euh, je suis très très content euh, de participer à ce salon euh, magnifique. An artist creates with works his own world, with his own language and with um, his own um, atmosphere and frame is the universe presenting and connecting the worlds of some great artists. It is maybe something like invitation to come in, to settle down for a while, to get in touch with um, artworks, to talk to the artists, to come back to the artwork and to discover maybe something very special for um, themselves. So that it is a great space, a great world to be a part of art. It is free for me. C'est une proposition avec un point hypnotique. Alors ça sert, à, ça sert à se reposer, ça sert à réfléchir. Et puis c'est aussi pour se rappeler qu'il y a des points hypnotiques tout le temps dans la vie. C'est un peu comme les poupées russes. On est tout le temps soumis à un hypnotisme de quelque chose. Bon. Bon, ben ça c'est la condition de vie humaine. C'est comme ça qu'on est humain. There is a special feeling about this fair. You know, everyone is participating. The artists are there. You know, they're helping on everything. They're hugging people. How, how did you manage to get this, this really, this energy, this new energy, in in a time where everyone is is clumsy and, and not so happy? So, how, how did I mean? There's something really special here, no? <laughs> yes, I work like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the that's the thing, right? No, we we work a lot, but not alone. You know, uh, you. Pierre, yes. and I can say that, I think uh, even in this interview, you are extremely helpful on media aspects, you help us communicate better, and that's really important. You, the movie team, do exactly the same. Every exhibitor, they, they have the feeling they are part of an adventure. It's yeah. like a team, so when people work towards the same target, it's it works. far easier, yeah. because they know why they do it. Yeah. Ce que je voulais dire euh, au point de vue de la qualité de Frame ici, c'est que d'abord, on nous a donné carte blanche 
Et ça, je trouve qu'il faut le saluer, parce que ça n'arrive pas tout le temps. Mmh. On sait, il a fallu que la première galerie qui nous propose d'exposer en Suisse soit une galerie de Paris. Donc ça, je trouve que c'est déjà remarquable en 20 ans. Et, et la deuxième et aussi, chose... Excusez-moi, mais aussi, on a, on, depuis qu'on est en Suisse, ça fait 21 ans, on n'a fait que des expositions musées. Dans des musées, pratiquement. C'était oui. toujours dans les musées. On a fait des grandes expositions dans les musées. Et d'avoir la possibilité de participer à Frame, euh, je trouve exceptionnel pour nous. Et, et je suis très fier qu'on peut exposer ici, parce que, comme Lala a dit, euh, Bertrand a nous donné carte blanche et c'est vraiment nous. J'aime beaucoup le fait que c'est un espace intime et une, une exposition des artistes et réduite et, et on peut prendre le temps pour les connaître. Et les rencontrer. Et oui. Rencontrer des gens vraiment de valeur que, que je suis très content d'avoir rencontré. Basel is the first one, but then it's going to yes, change so. and it's going to go towards other cities. Right? So Basel um, will basically be improved, but on the same model every year. Yeah. But in some place, we won't have a space like this one. So we will be specific to every city. You know, New York is not expecting the same as Basel. Yeah. Paris is not expecting the same as New York. Miami is not expecting. So for example, for Miami, We are in exclusive negotiation with one of the biggest hotels on Collins Avenue. Yes. Really and nice. they want to partner with us. But in New York, we will have like a more underground place. It will be operate mostly during the night when this one is operate mostly during the day. So each time we try to adapt to what yeah. people are looking for because we are there for them and to create this moment when we merge, yeah. where we share. Galerie 55 Bellechasse, euh, qui appartient de Bertrand Scholler, euh, qui a créé son propre euh, euh, art fair cette année, euh, ouvre euh, cette euh, foire. Et, euh, moi, ça fait euh, cinq ans que je travaille avec cette galerie. Et pour cette édition, euh, je présente euh, les séries de voyages les séries de voile au vent, les empreintes et les Freud. J'espère que tout passe bien et on aura de, de, bonnes succès, de belles succès. Euh, cette fois, ce sera à Miami, euh, bientôt à New York et San Francisco. Well, I first saw a, a picture of uh, the artist at the entrance of uh, Frame Art Fair and um, I felt I had a kind of a coup de food and um, then I saw this uh, work and uh, it talked to me, it was very romantic. I will hang it, uh, I suppose, in my living room in Monaco. <laughs> Le concept que Frame il m'amène, c'est un concept de diversité de essayer d'avoir la, la qualité le plus concentrée possible pour que les clients, quand ils arrivent, ils trouvent des choses, qu'ils qu soient tout le temps bien. Et évidemment, la modernité. À mon avis, le modèle de foire s'est complètement collapsé. Il faut trouver des nouvelles solutions. Il faut qu'un client qui arrive à une foire comme Frame trouve ce qu'il veut, qu'il peut choisir entre beaucoup de galeries de, de, de choses qui sont bien en qualité et qu'en plus, il peut euh, faire, on peut faire une performance, on peut faire un dîner, on peut faire une histoire qui peut, euh, d'une manière, lui, don, lui rapporter une chose différente. This is the first time I'm here in Frame because it is the first edition of this totally new concept, and I can see that uh, it's a total opportunity for artists to be seen. I mean, in an international way. So here for Frame, I'm presenting uh, Heroin, which is a totally new series I've finished in 2017. And uh, it's about a uh, heroine of literature. They inspired me to wonder about um, women's freedom and my own at the same time. So I wanted to go where heroines are stuck in certain situations and I wanted them to try to step out of it. I think Frame is an interesting idea bringing people together from all these different countries, all different age groups, and putting us in different rooms, 
exposing us all together, getting to meet these type of people, because our backgrounds are all completely different. Um, I'm older, I was a photojournalist for many years, there are people doing abstract work from Switzerland, uh, Jason Newstead from Metallica is upstairs, so it's a chance to bring us all together and expose people to many different types of work. So as you said, you participated to a lot of events before. What worked and what didn't work in, this, in these events? I mean, I guess you've done like 80 or 85 fairs in just five years, which is crazy. But what was there that worked and what didn't work? Fairs is uh, becoming like a drug for uh, exhibitors because we need permanently to do uh, fairs to meet clients because they don't come anymore in galleries yeah, sure. unless you do very, very specific things to attract them. So we need to, uh, to do fairs, but over the years we realized that there are so many fairs that the best clients, institution, press, they just go in the best art fair, which yeah. are basically inaccessible. For so we go, galleries, yes. Actually, yes. So we go in middle, uh, averagely bad fairs, where they spend like 90% of their money to run a space and to run a commercial team, but teeny money is on strategy, on marketing. Uh, so that's how you get fairs that announce their list of exhibitors just the week before the fair. Or they don't even announce, it's a yeah. fake list where there are exhibitors who will not come, yeah. but just because uh, people are coming because of some of the names. And, uh, but this one is crazy, but how can it sustain something like this? It's not sustaining, it's a dying, dying world. Yeah. It's a dying world. And frame is kind of the opposite. It's something very lively, very yes. alive, with people hugging. You know, you have the artists that are outside hugging people under the rain. Yes. How did you convince them to do that? I mean, are they crazy? Or is it an experience? Or they really want to sell? What you is know, how? many artists, emerging artists, they need to have two jobs, sometimes more. Yeah. And some of our artists, their second job is clowns, comedian, singer. And so for them, Art is part of their daily life, so they want to do hugs. Yeah. They want to hug. Did they hug you? Yes, a lot. <laughs> je porte mon art sur moi et je vais à la rencontre du public. Je leur présente mon art ainsi que celui de mes frères d'art et euh, je leur fais une invitation. C'est de venir ici et en échange, ils me font un câlin. Donc c'est pour l'amour de l'art et la vie de l'art. Bienvenue à Fram. C'est vraiment une invitation. Moi, je suis Zola Matsela, un artiste affilié au 55 Bellechasse. Et donc, dans le cadre de tous ces événements qui se passent ici, et ben voilà, nous organisons The Événement. The Événement. Plus de 1000 mètres carrés d'exposition, des artistes internationaux. Vous allez voir, des gens qui viennent du monde entier. Et donc, c'est chez nous. C'est la place où il faut être. Avec une réelle proximité avec les artistes. Okay. Come with your family. Okay. Uh, a friend, a child, you passed a great moment, really, Good. for art. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you for all. I want to see you. I pay champagne for you. Okay? Ciao. Thank you. Ciao. Un câlin. <laughs> merci. Ciao. Merci pour ton énergie et viens. Okay, merci. Tu as passé un bon moment. Okay, merci à toi. Good day. Ciao. Thank you. Bye bye. Why are you open so early? I mean, I think the idea is that because there are some people, a few, they, like 100%, they come for a Basel. Yeah. And they know they will spend one or two hours in this fair, and they want to do it before going to our Basel. So our Basel, for example, today, for the VVIP, it's open at 11. As you saw, few of them came here yeah. before, because they wanted to collect before spending money maybe somewhere else. And uh, uh, so they come at 8.30, 9 o'clock, they have two hours, enjoy every time. time. Yes. Now they go at Art Basel, or they go with VIP cards, yeah. and they will bring new clients. Yeah, and they will drink champagne and all exactly. of that. And here we don't drink champagne, we... We drink also champagne. Oh, I thought we were eating some ice cream. We will eat a lot of ice cream. So now you have a thousand of ice cream. Because there the, that people the, need the, to Exactly, eat. the idea of ice cream is very important for us, you know. And I am a bad example. Why? But many people, uh, they go in art fair, uh, like in a museum, and they are with the iPhone all the time. They have noticed you're doing that all the time. Yes, but I, I try to do my job, which unfortunately, 
Needs But to people who come to see art, uh, they should come to see art. And uh, if they have an ice cream, uh, they cannot have an ice cream on the iPhone. It becomes very difficult. And we think uh, we open their senses. You know, they see beautiful art. Uh, from five o'clock, they hear nice music. Uh, they can touch, not every painting, but they can <laughs> touch a lot of things. Uh, and really, the idea is open your senses. Open your senses. Alors, c'est une foire qui a pour objectif de, de se faire rencontrer les collectionneurs et les artistes de manière intime, presque comme à la maison, autour d'un café, autour d'une glace. Euh, moi, pour euh, illustrer en fait, cette intimité, j'ai choisi la, la série des, des, des salles de bain. En fait, la salle de bain étant un endroit, euh, l'endroit de la frontière en fait, où on où on quitte son moi intime pour revêtir son moi social. Pour moi, c'est un peu l'idée de cette, cette représentation. Et c'est aussi l'idée de cette foire, retrouver, se retrouver en tant que collectionneur, artiste, abandonner ses, son armure, pour pouvoir échanger de manière simple autour des œuvres, comme un, un dialogue qui se crée entre l'artiste et, et le collectionneur. La première édition de la Frame Art Fair trouve son location. Uh, at a couple of uh, blocks from uh, the main fair Art Basel. During the Art Basel week, uh, we decided to um, organize a small boutique art fair with a highly curated show from independent artists already represented by important galleries, but also a small group of galleries deciding to um, exhibit a special project. Trabajo en, en el norte de España, en Galicia. Es una galería en la que principalmente promociono nuevos artistas y también hago eh, comisariado de exposiciones en museos y otras instituciones. En, en este momento estamos en Frame presentando a tres artistas, Mónica Ortuzar, María Maquieira y Fernando de France. Eh, pintura, dibujo y fotografía en blanco y negro. C'est une vision en fait complètement imaginaire, c'est euh, un chemin de la vie pour moi. Donc euh, je réalise avec euh, des petites lignes que je, je fais euh, ligne par ligne. Donc euh, ça va représenter en fait ligne pour une journée de vie peut-être. The title of this painting is Interrogatum. There are so many questions what we, uh, we care about and they fill our lives and this search for the answers makes our uh, existence uh, filled with many surprises and even the question who am I is a subject of this painting because this figure has no head, no personality. It could be anyone. I'm very excited and um, um, it is a great opportunity for me to get feedback for my works and to know how the people um, uh, feel about it. And of course I am excited about the talks and about the art works of other great um, artists too. Et j'ai reçu un coup de fil euh, d'un collègue, il m'a dit « Ah, il y a une dame euh, qui a adoré mon travail, qui voulait me rencontrer, euh, me parler et d'entendre euh, l'explication et de, de se partager. » Donc j'étais très contente et euh, je suis venue en courant et effectivement la dame, elle était adorable. On a vraiment discuté beaucoup, beaucoup de choses de, de la vie et de mon travail. Donc du coup, elle a pris deux tableaux. J'étais très contente. J'ai pensé à que l'art était cher, donc je voulais me moquer une fois de plus de ce qu'on est, de ce que je suis, de, de ce qu'est notre civilisation actuelle. Et je me suis dit, bah tiens, on va rigoler, on va découper l'art. L'art, c'est cher, donc c'est dommage, mais on est obligé de découper. Ici, on est dans un instant T, on est devant toute l'œuvre, mais quand elle sera vendue et séparée, eh ben, il va falloir retrouver les pièces, ça sera un peu la chasse au trésor. Donc je, je rigole déjà d'avance des gens qui rechercheront peut-être la pièce 
euh, qui leur manque, etc. Je souhaite à Frem, qui est la première, euh, la première foire de ce type ici à Bâle, au moment où il faut y être, euh, de pouvoir se retrouver décliné dans les autres lieux du monde qui sont aussi des cœurs battants de l'art contemporain en fonction de différents moments de l'année. Et euh, je lui souhaite euh, beaucoup de succès.